Hello everyone. Uh, in this meeting, we will cover some security features of the Zoom uh, meeting platform. Uh, the easiest way to get in the Zoom is uh, using the link provided in my Harmony portal. When you click the portal, you will get into this meeting area. You can either click to schedule a meeting or you can either other one is meeting a meeting link here. Then you will find that scheduling link so you can name it your classes as and uh, you can put uh, and then uh, please make sure you put a timeline as late at least a start date of the meeting and you can uh, talk to these features with your APs of academics that they will give you detailed information uh, please the most important item is please make sure that you choose this feature to generate automatically the meeting ID instead of using your personal ID and also make sure you assign at least six digit uh, numeric passcode and we are recommending that the video on for host and participant and then uh, this feature can stay that one the most important item is here please do not activate enable join before the host this will create a issue the students can join the meeting before you start the meeting and please make sure mute the participant when they get in the meeting and also uh, in the future harmony is going to help you to activate that one for now do not use it but later when harmony started uh, authentication through the my harmony portal uh, we will use this feature as well also you can use breakout room pre-assignment uh, as well and when you are done just click save and then your meeting is ready this is your link do not share this link with anyone the reason is the encrypted password is also here you can use this link as in your Schoology account but do not send an email or post it on anywhere uh, on the uh, social media schedule the meeting there are some certain security measures you need to make sure that you can find those under the settings of the meeting and then you can find them you will find the waiting room option and then you will make sure that this is also leave as checked another key feature of the zoom meeting is please make sure that you can either uh, keep their video on this is recommended and the other key features of these uh, meetings under the in meeting settings you are allowing the students to chat with each other and also you can allow the students to save the chat as well and you can close this so this will uh, turn off private chat and auto saving features as well and uh, at this time they can only chat with you as a teacher you can assign a co-host if there's any co-host and also screen sharing for now is enabled only the host and then also screen sharing start feature is only the host as well and also screens uh, right now is allowing the annotations this is really critical item if you want your students write on your presentation you can allow it but it's recommended not to use this feature uh, if you want to annotate yourself especially for the uh, math science or ela teachers or any teachers you can click annotate to yourself as well 
Another item the teacher needs to make sure that file transfer is disabled so students cannot share the, any file or host cannot send the file to students through the Zoom. Please use Schoology for this purpose. Those are the basic key features of the Zoom meeting. When you start the meeting, you will see this screen and then it will automatically activate your account here. Make sure you turn on the your video camera and uh, you can unmute yourself or you, you can keep muted yourself. And then please start, uh, check the security feature of that one. Uh, let's look at that one. After everyone get in the meeting, you can lock the meeting, but if you enable the waiting room, it will be enough for now. Uh, do not allow students share the screen. You can let them chat, but we will talk in detail. They can chat with you and then they can rename themselves. Uh, you can share your expectation with your students. And the next one is unmute themselves. This is strongly suggested not checked. So it will be easy for you if they can keep muted until you allow them to talk. The second one is uh, chat features. Let me take it a little bit mute. Uh, right now everyone can the setting is everybody can chat with everyone but please make sure you choose host only through here host only so your students can chat only with you and features you can also arrange the breakout rooms uh, and then you can also monitor their participations uh, if, when they are muted please let them use reactions about if they agree uh, or uh, they can uh, use this feature for other purposes as well. And then you can let them use maybe raising their hand feature. When you started your classroom, the students will join it if you enable the waiting room. Please make sure that their names are correct. If not, you can communicate with everyone in the waiting room and you can type it please change your name and when you send it the other side other side will get the messages and then they can change their name uh, appropriately they cannot respond but they can change the name so our student John attend the meeting and I will let him get in the meeting. As you see, John is muted and cannot unmute himself. And when he try to uh, unmute himself, there will be pop up warning screen coming to his uh, attention. It will say that the host is not allowing participants to unmute themselves and uh, he cannot do it but he can or he can chat with the host for that one host can ask the students to unmute using this feature and then students can join the discussion and host mute them at any time please make sure when you are using this feature be careful when a student is not ready for the classroom please make sure to put him back into the waiting room per harmony online instruction expectations and then you can chat with the students about your expectation he cannot respond it back directly to you when he is ready uh, or after you share your expectation one more time you can admit him back to the room again 